What is a cardiac electrophysiologist, or EP for short? A cardiac electrophysiologist is a specialist within cardiology who deals specifically with the heart rhythm. The way one should be thinking about the heart is to imagine that the heart has three major systems within it. There's the plumbing system, the valve system, and the electrical system. Now, the analogy would be like you're building a house. So let's say that you were building a house. A general cardiologist would be like the general contractor of the house. But you need specialists who do the plumbing and the electrical and the roof. And so these would be the specialties within cardiology. See, 30 years ago, there was just a cardiologist and that person was the specialist in the heart. But medicine has progressed a lot, even in the last 10 to 20 years. And so as the medicine has advanced along with technology, we have been able to do a whole lot more than we used to be able to do previously. And this is why we had to specialize. And so now there's multiple subspecialties within cardiology that deal with these more advanced areas and more specialized areas. So therefore we have interventional cardiologists. They're like the plumbers of the heart. The plumbing system is the system that everybody hears about. And that's where you get blockages of your heart arteries that supply blood to your heart, gives you chest pain, damage, heart attacks. But the plumbing isn't the only system within the heart. It's just the one everybody hears about the most, the ones that people talk about the most, but it is not the only system in the heart. The plumbing system just keeps your heart alive, but it doesn't do anything to make your heart beat or to keep blood flowing in one direction through your heart. And if you did have a blocked heart artery that required uh, treatment because it was causing chest pain, damage, and heart attacks, then an interventional cardiologist or one of our plumbers would go in there, open up the blockage, restore blood flow, and probably put in a little stent to keep it open. Now, the valves in your heart have to do with the fact that there are four chambers in your heart, and blood is meant to go in one direction through the chambers and not backwards. That's why each chamber has a one-way valve letting blood go from one chamber to the next and then the valve closes shut to keep blood from going backwards. Now, if your valve were to get very stiff and open up less and less so that it was letting less blood flow go through to the next chamber, what we call stenosis of the valve, or if your valve leaked where the valve leaflets would shut but not allow, but the blood would leak backwards into the previous chamber instead of closing completely, then that's where you might need a valve surgery. These days, we have structural heart cardiologists that can do some valve replacements without having a cardiothoracic surgeon crack out, open your chest and do open heart surgery. They can actually do it from your leg artery, which is less invasive, and that would be structural heart cardiologists. Those of us who specialize in the heart rhythm system, those of us who are cardiac electrophysiologists, or EPs for short, we are the heart rhythm experts, or as some cardiologists refer to us affectionately as the electricians of the heart. Our specialty is the fact that there is an electrical system in your heart, a self-contained system of electricity flowing through the walls of your heart that actually controls what speed your heart beats at. Now, in general, even though each of these systems of the heart can influence each other, for the most part, plumbing system problems are plumbing system problems, and electrical system problems are electrical system problems. Atrial fibrillation, which is the most common abnormal heart rhythm out there, is a problem with your heart's electrical system. And for the most part, doesn't directly have anything to do with the plumbing system. So therefore, just because somebody has atrial fibrillation doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to have a heart attack. That's the difference between electrical versus plumbing.